Okay. Factor the expression. That means I want it in the two parentheses. You don't have to check your answer. So I want you to sort this, what I put here times what I put here has to be x to the second. And what I put here and what I have to put here has to equal negative 15. Okay. So you're going to write x second equals negative 15 equals. So x is second is the same thing every time. It's always x times x. Okay, now to find what times what's negative 15, we're going to need our table. Okay, so we put negative 15 up there. Okay, so a negative is a mismatch. So you put a positive on one side, negative on the other, and you have to add to what's in the middle, which is negative 2. Okay, that's where we get that. So I put divided by 1, so 15 divided by 1 is 15. Okay, then I add those two together. 1 plus negative 15 is negative 14. Now I take 15 divided by 2. I got a decimal on that one, so 2. If you get a decimal, just put it down and cross it out. Then 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so I put 3, 5. Now I add those two together then. And I have negative 2, I have negative 2, so we're good. Okay, so circle that. So you put positive 3, negative 5, and that's your answer. Okay. Okay, then here, x second and 30. So x to the second is x times x, and then 30 equals, we don't know. Okay, so that's a times dot. So it's going to be x, x. Now, oh, 30 is positive, okay. So I put positive 30. So now if it's positive, it's a match, the signs that have to match. Okay. So put two signs up, just negative on each side, and you're adding to what's in the middle, which is positive 11. Okay. So I start dividing. 30 divided by 1 is 30. So I add negative 1 plus negative 30. That's negative 31. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, and then I put 2 down, 30 divided by 2 is 15, so I put 2 and 15 down, then I add negative 2 plus negative 15 is negative 17, okay, and 3, 30 divided by 3 is 10, okay, negative 3 plus negative 10 is negative 13, okay, no, 30 divided by 4. Okay, I got a decimal, so I cross that out. Thirty divided by five is six. Okay. Then I add negative five plus negative six. Okay, I have eleven, so I stop dividing. I just have to make it positive eleven. So I switch both the signs. Okay, you switch over the signs. So positive five, positive six. There you go. Okay, next problem. X to the second power, the two power minus seven x plus twelve. So we got x to the two power and twelve. So x to two and positive twelve. So that's always x times x. Make a table, put your positive 12, and that's a match. So put the match, okay? And the signs have to add to what's in the middle, which is negative 7, okay? 12 divided by 1 is 12, okay? So that's negative 13, that's not what we're looking for. I put 2 down and divide 12. But remember, when you're dividing, no negatives. 2 and 6. When you add, that's when you want to bring your negatives in. Negative 8, that's close, but it's not good enough. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Negative 7, and that's exactly what I want. So I put in negative 3, negative 4. Okay, last problem here today, x second plus 3x minus 21, okay, so 
x second, negative 21. So that's x times x. Now i got to put negative 21 up there. And this is a mismatch because we have a negative. Okay, negative is a mismatch, positive match, mismatch, you go positive, negative. Okay, so I'm going to add to try to get to positive 3. 1. 21 divided by 1 is 21. So 1 plus negative 21, negative 20, that isn't going to work. 21 divided by 2 is a decimal. 21 divided by 3 is 7, so I put 3, 7. 3 plus negative 7. Negative 4, that's not, it's close, but it's not good enough, okay? Whoops, I made a mistake on this one. I want you to change that 3 to a 4. That's my bad, okay? And then change this over here, okay? I did this wrong, okay? So go 3 plus negative 7, and that's negative 4. I just need to make it positive 4, okay? So I flip, change the signs over positive 7, negative 3. Okay, that's my fault. I screwed up. That, that positive 3 should have been a positive 4, okay? And you add them. It was negative. You, you added them. You had to switch the signs over. 